to be to have knowledge snatched away, to have the sweetness of worship snatched away, then one sin leads to another. When you start committing sin, initially, it doesn't feel like it's something so serious. Or should I say, initially, it feels like, you know what, this was just a one-off, I'm not going to do it again. When you do it again and a third time, it becomes easier to sin. That's a result of the evil effects of the sins that a believer engages in. It becomes such that you just feel like carrying on. From this sin, you commit another one and then you say, by the way, I am committing that. Let me just go into here. I went into the nightclub. Now there's alcohol. Let me just drink. Now that I'm drinking, there's a bit of drugs. Let me just do that. Now that that has happened, the, you know, the adultery comes with it. Let me go. Before you know it, you are drowning in so many different sins that you feel that you are now at the end because you are depressed you are stressed you are sad so much has happened and at the same time you actually feel within you that you know what there is so much of darkness in my life this is why the door of Tawbah is open I know I will speak about it towards the end but I need to mention it just in case someone dozes off near the end may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us because this is a topic people don't like to hear. We always talk about, you know, goodness. Today we're talking about punishment. Today we're talking about how your evil deeds have an effect on you. Because we are struggling, my brothers and sisters.